Finally, finally, finally. It's here. The time has come. And so did I a little bit in that intro. <laughs> we all had at least some small amount of hope that we were going to see something Resident Evil in this state of play. Or at least during this uh, E3 period that is lacking E3. Now I'm not going to talk about the rest of the state of play. Just because it was kind of lackluster, although that could be partly down to the fact that they blew their load in the first two minutes with Resident Evil 4, and I don't think, aside from showing like a God of War Ragnarok release date or something, they could have really brought this back. But I do have to give a quick shout out to everyone who made Resident Evil 4 Remake fan art, especially those people who just slapped Leon's jacket from 4 onto Leon's Resident Evil Remake model. Because you, yeah, you got it. They're not really changing the facial model of Leon from the looks of it. His hair's changed and he has Leon's outfit from Resident Evil 4, which is a great thing. I can live with that. I'm still a bit iffy on the new Leon voice actor. I can't think of his name. Um, I would have preferred... I can't remember the original guy's voice actor from Resident Evil 4. I would have accepted Matt Mercer as well, because he does voice Leon in some of the later games. Uh, Resident Evil 6 uh, and the movies Degeneration... Uh, Damnation, and uh, maybe not, I don't remember, but he's in the Resident Evil movies, and he does a great job as Leon, but I'm more than willing to give this a shot, like, I had my doubts, I'm not gonna lie, hell, I've got a video of me getting ragey when Capcom said that the Resident Evil 4 remake is going to be inspired by Resident Evil 4, and follow a remake structure akin to Resident Evil 2 and 3, because that did me a concern, and it currently continues to do me a concern. But considering how the trailer has kind of like laid some groundwork for how the game's going to be represented, I'm not going to lie, I am optimistic about this. There was like a very brief uh, shot of uh, El Pueblo Village, uh, I think there was two actually, there was like a more or less aerial view, and then there was one of Leon in the walk-up. Uh, where he would have hid behind a tree to see one of the uh, policia burning. Ashley's new design looks great. I actually really like the fact that they have actually made her look like some kind of like prep school college girl uh, president's daughter without having to resort back to the mini skirt. I know a lot of the perverts out there are going to be upset that they're not going to be able to ogle her skirt anymore, but you got the internet. We all know what's on the internet. We all know what your search history probably looks like. But no, I am cautiously... I actually say... I know, I'm not even going to say cautiously optimistic on this one. There were some shots that were almost one for one. Uh, Leon in the boat, Leon in the car. It's a lot of Leon being still. Uh, but I can live with that. Uh, the brief design we saw of Ada, I'm still not sure on. Like, her red dress is iconic, and it doesn't look like she's going to be carrying that over. Osman Sadler's new voice actor sounds a little bit off to me. I don't know why. Chief Mendez looks fucking menacing, and the hat he's wearing looks fucking stupid. But I'm sure we'll probably get to knock that off at some point. Like, Mr. X. What if that's an allusion to the fact that he's going to be a chaser? What if for the village portion, Chief Mendez is going to be the chaser? He's going to be the nemesis or the Mr. X of this game. That's kind of cool, but I kind of hope not at the same time. I'm not going to get into it here, but... But yeah, with Osman Sadler, it sounds like... At first, I thought at the very least, it was Ramon Salazar. I really thought that's who it was. Luis... <sighs> it's the voice acting is the thing that's really getting me in this. Like... Everything looks good, but the voice acting for me is just like... 
I don't know if it's because I am such a fan of Resident Evil 4 and hearing these characters I have grown up and spent most of my life with sounding different is what's doing it. I'm sure it's going to be a fantastic game. I'm sure they can do the best they can with the voice acting. The thing that is doing me a concern, which sorry it's taken me so long to get to this point, is the fact that at the moment some of these screenshots look like Resident Evil 8. I know there was the joke that, oh, Resident Evil 8 is just Resident Evil 4, but this really just looks like he's walking through the village of Resident Evil 8, not 4. Uh, it could have just been a thing they've done for the trailer, like a little set piece they did. I'm not too sure. I just really hope they don't go the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remake routes of, like, super condensing down certain areas and rearranging specific things. Because Resident Evil 4 had a flow to it. Uh in the way that its story progressed in lieu with the areas it goes through. Some areas are uh, completely just like supplementary material. I have text. Um, so it's not going to be too harsh of a transition if they maybe like remove a room that only really had a typewriter in or something along those lines, but we'll have to wait and see. But I'm not going to lie, the few little concerns that are floating around in my mind aren't really game breakers at this point. From what I've seen in this trailer, the few little things that we did get a glimpse into, it looks like for the most part Capcom are going to be treating this with the respect it deserves. We just have to wait until next year to find out. But it's not too far off next year actually. I thought we were probably going to get maybe like a summer release or like a uh, winter, not winter, what's the one between? Autumn? I thought we were going to get an autumn release. But no, it looks like they're following the tradition of keeping it in March. Resident Evil 2 and 3 were released in March, so it makes sense. We didn't have any word on Resident Evil 8 and its DLC yet, but what we did get is the fact that not only is Resident Evil 8 getting a VR component, Resident Evil 4 is as well. And I'm very upset with this, but not for the reasons you think. Before last night, I sat down to record a video talking about what I expect to see from the state of play and what I'd like to see from Resident Evil 4 if it does show up. But unfortunately, Audacity crashed on me during the recording and I didn't have backups or anything, so I scrapped it and just went, fuck it. But one of the things I said was I'd like to see Resident Evil 4 get a VR component because the current normal standard 2005 Resident Evil 4 has a VR counterpart now. So it makes sense that they could put VR in Resident Evil 4 considering there's the framework in place. Bearing in mind that it is drastically changed in just like overall uh, mechanics, technology, graphics, you know. <laughs> but I'm very excited. I am very excited now seeing this resident evil welcome to raccoon city was a giant fucking stain on the resident evil franchise that was the last resident evil thing i got excited for and it disappointed me greatly and i'm just happy that it looks like we're finally getting a proper resident evil 4 remake that hopefully doesn't dilute and remove things and change lore too much looking at Resident Evil 3 but yeah let me know what you think are you excited for Resident Evil 4 what do you think of the trailer what do you think of the character designs and the voices like what do you hope to see more of as you know more trailers and gameplay footage comes out over the coming months let me know down below I'm obviously going to be covering this a lot more so any new news that comes out about the Resident Evil 4 remake I will obviously talk about so if you want to catch my opinions on things or want to hear some discussions around certain mechanics and stuff that developers are showing off uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the bell to let you know when I upload about Resident Evil. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.